Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today I'm going to play you a tune called Waiting for the Federals, also known as the Seneca Square Dance. <laughs> Now, this is a tune that's got around quite a lot. Um, it started almost certainly as a, an American tune, uh, probably in the Civil War, but um, it's now in, played in contradance and in Celtic music. So uh, this is probably partly because of Ali Bain, who recorded it um, on his first album, I believe, with um, Phil Cunningham in 1989. Um, it's a tune with an abundance of titles, so it's mostly known in Celtic circles as Waiting for the Federals, but in old-timey music it's known as the um, Seneca Square Dance, or Hell Among the Yearlings, or The Higher Up the Monkey Climbs, or uh, Shoot the Turkey Buzzard. And in Ireland it's also John Hoban's Polka. <laughs> how, so many, how one tune can have so many titles is quite baffling, but it's not uncommon uh, to have uh, so many titles. So I'm going to give you two versions. I'm going to give you the, uh, the Ali Bain version and a, a version I learned from Bruce Molsky. And it's interesting to see the difference between the two. So, first of all, I'll give you the simple melody of the Celtic version without any ornaments. And then I'll show you the, the Celtic ornamentation that you can use. So, uh, read the music, but just ignore the ornaments to start with. One, two, three... <laughs> Okay, now to that we can add uh, cuts and double cuts. So a, um, a cut is a single uh, grace note and a double cut is two grace notes. So that's a cut, also known as a hammer-on. That's another cut. And that is a double cut. Now, a very interesting question that I've uh, gone into quite a lot is, uh, what is the point of ornamentation? Uh, in this case, the, the ornamentation has the effect of making it sound Celtic. Uh, it makes it sound quite different from the, uh, the American version, which I'll do shortly. Uh, and that is a good, a good enough answer in itself. Um, if you look at my video, uh, Ornamentation, What's the Point?, then you'll see uh, some uh, various arguments about what the ornamentation is actually doing and where it comes from. But anyway, let's do that one more time and this time with some backing.
Now the American version, and it's pretty similar in melody to what we've just played, um, but if you take out all of the ornaments and uh, put in quite a few drones, then it will sound quite different. This version I'm playing is from a video um, of Bruce Molsky with the Old Time Berkeley Ensemble. Um, it's probably not exactly the same as he would play it solo. I su suspect he would add quite a lot of variation. Um, one thing about this version is it has quite a lot of syncopation, which is very rare in Celtic music and very common in old time music. So you'll find this at various points in the melody. Um, I'll give you the basic melody without any drones to start with. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So you can see that does have quite a different feel to it, even though it's more or less the same tune. I will play you out with uh, a couple of times round um, that version with the backing. If you'd like a copy of both of these versions, then do subscribe to the channel and send me an email and I will send you a free PDF copy. I'll see you again soon.